Hello, I'm Rosemary Connolly. Welcome to my new whole body program. The exercises on this video have been designed to tone up our whole body and to make us feel better. Most diet and fitness programs don't fail. It's our willpower that fails. And to counteract this, I've tried to make this video fun and easy to follow. Ideally, you need to do these exercises two or three times a week, and it'll take about 10 or 15 minutes of your time, perhaps a little longer as you get better at it. But you'll be amazed at how quickly you see the benefits, both in your body and in how you feel. To help me demonstrate these exercises, I've enlisted the help of a few ladies who have all tried my diet and workout program. If you need a little extra motivation to begin, then take a look at these before and after photographs, which they've been brave enough to let me show you. Joan here is 19 and she's 5 feet 6 inches tall. In this photograph, she weighs 11 stone 7 pounds. After 18 weeks of diet and exercise, she now weighs 9 stone 7. Joanne is 21 and she's 5 feet 5 and a half inches tall. In her before photograph, she weighed 10 stone 10. Three months later, she's a mere 8 stone 9. Chris is 5 feet 3 tall. She weighed 11 and a half stones and has reduced her weight to 8 stone 5. She looks better now at 40 than she did when she was in her 20s. 30 year old Stephanie is 5 feet 4. In this picture, she weighed 13 stones. After eight months, she'd slimmed and exercised down to just under nine stones. Two years ago, when little Jessica was born, Kim, who's now 32 and five feet three, weighed in at 16 and a half stones. She's now almost seven stones lighter. A magnificent achievement, and doesn't she look well on it? Well, I hope that's given you some inspiration. It just shows it can be done. Well, this video has been designed to suit everyone, men, women, even children. In fact, anyone who wants to improve their body and their general fitness. First, there's an elementary exercise sequence, followed by an intermediate workout for those who are a bit fitter. That's followed by three separate workouts for different parts of the body. This is the first time such a combination of workouts has been presented. Do make up your own routines according to your needs. To help you, you're going to need the use of a chair and also a piece of wide elastic. This is about 30 inches long or 75 centimetres and it's been firmly sewn together. So, we're almost ready to begin. But it's very important to realise that not everyone should exercise. So do consult your doctor before starting. This is particularly important if you haven't exercised for a long time. Listen to your body. If during any of the exercises you're in any discomfort, stop immediately. Never overdo it. Don't exercise on a full stomach. Make sure you're wearing something comfortable and suitable for exercising. And of course, do remember to wear properly cushioned fitness shoes. So here we go. We're going to warm up for these elementary exercises. So stretch up towards the ceiling, pull your tummy in, tuck your bottom under, and just stretch. Now we're going to do some skiing down. But it's important to pull your tummy in and tuck your bottom under. So really pull in. Now we're going to swing to the side eight times. One, two. And centrally, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and change. And one, two, three, six, seven, and place your hands onto your shoulders. Bend your knees slightly and just rotate your elbows round. 
four, five, six, seven, and back. Take your hands out to the side, push the heels of your hands out, and just little circles backwards. And forward. Now keeping your feet apart, just gently swing your hands in front. Little bounces as we go. Now take your arms up and down, just little bounces again with your knees. Now take your elbow to your knee. Cross and change. Last one. And we're going to march. This is a very good general warm-up exercise. Gets the heart beating well. And just relax. Just let your hands go in front of you and behind. Now, the next posture we're going to do is for the upper body. So bring your hands in front of your chest. Keep your knees nice and slightly bent. And we're going to take our weight onto alternate feet, starting onto our right foot. So get ready, elbows back. Back. And again. Now place your arms together and as though you're trying to push your sleeves up your arms, push. Keep your knees nice and soft. And pull your arms. So, pull, pull, pull. This is very good for the chest and the upper arms. Now, keeping the knees bent, we're going to punch. This is always a good exercise for getting rid of any aggression or you're in a bad mood one day. We're going to stretch to the side four times. One, two, three, four, and change. Two, three, change, and one, two, three, four, and change. Two, three, and again. Now take your hands behind, your hands out to the side and take them back and little movements, nothing too high, just little movements, bend the knees slightly, it does make it a little bit easier on the back. And we're going to go to elbow thrusts again. So, pull your tummy in as you do it. And we're going to punch upwards. Punch. Just flex your knees slightly as you do it. And down.
and relax. Now we're going to do some exercises for the middle and lower body. So cross your legs. This is the elegant way to, to actually get onto the floor. So slowly lower yourself down, place your feet hip width apart, make yourself comfortable, hands are forward and slowly lower yourself down. This is the easy way to get your tummy muscles working. So slowly down, roll over onto your side and sit up. Do the same again. Nice and gently. It still works the tummy muscles very effectively. And over to the other side and come up. Hands forward. Now we're going to stop halfway, but don't go too far. If you start juddering, then you've gone too far. So hold it there. Feel the tummy muscles working and come up. And now slowly lie down. And we're going to do another exercise for the tummy. So lie down, raise your legs up, bend the knees, bring the feet back and leave your knees in this bent position. Now stretch your hands towards your toes and just little movements upwards, about three counts, three and back and again, one, two, three, and relax, and just cover the knees, just bring them close into you, this relaxes the tummy muscles, take the legs up again, feet back, stretch up towards the toes three times, one, two, three, and back, and up again, one, two, three, and relax, cover the knees, now roll over onto the side, prop your head onto your hand, take your top leg forward for support and also place your other hand in front, point the toe and just raise that lower leg up and down, feel the stretch on the inner thigh as you do this. Now flex and point and flex, point flex and point. One more time. Point and relax. Bring the knees in and out and in. This relaxes the leg muscles. Now leave that lower leg in. Extend the top leg. Flex the foot. Take it about an one or two feet off the floor and just raise the leg up just a little tiny distance. Feel the outer thigh really working well. And relax, bring the legs in and out. Now bring them in and we're going to roll over to the other side. Prop your head up again, take the top leg forward. The lower leg pointing, just raise the leg up and down. Now flex and point, flex and point, flex, point, flex, point. Now bring the knees in and out and in. Leave the lower leg in, extend the top leg, flex the foot and just raise it up and down just a little bit. And bring it in and out and sit up. And that's the end of the elementary workout. And now for the intermediate exercises, which we can do when we're a little bit fitter. So we're going to start off by stretching as high as you can. Really good stretches. Pull your tummy in, tuck your bottom under. Now interlock your fingers. Stretch up and to the side for two and the other side. Don't forget to keep your tummy pulled in. This is wonderful for the waistline. And we're going to ski down, get ready. And down. Go down as far as you can. 
And now we're going to do some marching. So. Now bring your alternate knees in and bring your elbows in. Keep your elbows nice and high. Now take your feet wide apart as though you're sitting on a stool. As wide as you can, little bounces. Bring your hands out. And we're going to swing in and out. Little bounces as we do it. Now take your hands up and down. Push the heels of your hands out. Now we're going to stretch out to the side, so get ready. And bring your legs in and stretch. And up twice. And twice the other side. Really put everything into it you can. And elbow thrusts. Now bring your knees in again and bring your elbows in. Bring them as high as you can. And we're going to start marching again. So. to stretch sideways so stretch twice and over as far as you can now we're going to stretch to the side with both hands and bring your leg up so up Two and one, two and one, two, one, two, one. Bring that leg as far behind you as you can. And singles, one and one. And ski down, put your tummy in and down. And relax. Right, now take your feet comfortably wide apart, as wide as you can. Change of tempo, a bit slower now. We're just bending down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Now we're going to bring our hands in front. Imagine you've got a couple of pulleys in front of you. We're going to pull these down as we straighten our legs up. So, down. Down. Keep your elbows bent. Feel the muscles working. Pull your tummy in. Now we're going to take a swing to the side. So off to the left, swing. Four, five, six, seven, and change. And wide. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Centrally, one. Really big gate between your legs. And reverse. Now we're going to touch ankles in front, so across, behind. As high as you can. Last round, one, two, and we're going to the side. And one, two, three. One, two, three, skip. One, two, three, skip. One, two, four. One, two, three, kick. 
two, three, one, two, here we go. To the side again. One, two, three, skip. Again. And we're going to swing our arm and swing. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and change. One, two. Centrally, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, change, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and just shake out. And relax. Now we're going to get onto the floor, so cross your ankles and support yourself as you drop yourself down. Now place your feet hip width apart and we're going to do some abdominal exercises. So slowly lie down, keep your feet apart a little way, place the hands at the side of your head, curve your pelvis in, pull your chest in and your tummy will automatically come in then. Now we're going to raise up for three and down in one and try to imagine you've got a pillow, an imaginary pillow, an inch thick. So get ready, here we go for three and... One, two, three, and back, and one, two, three, and back, and one, two, three, and back, and one, two, three, and back. And relax the tummy muscles by taking hold of your legs, bending the knees, and just squeezing them up towards you. Now cross your ankles, place your hands side of your head again and we're going across this time we're going to touch for three going a little bit further each time your resting elbow is on the floor to support you so get ready and one two three and back one two three and back one two three and back go a little bit further each time if you can and three and back and one two three and back and one two three and back and last one two three and cuddle the knees just bring them up nice and gently now take your legs straight up bring your toes back this is quite a strong exercise but it's wonderful for toning the tummy so stretch up with your fingers in three stages so off we go one two three and back and 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 one more time two three and back and cover the knees again now this time we're going to take the legs straight up again but we're going to cross the ankles so take them as straight as possible Cross the ankles and stretch up again. One, two, three, and back. Feel the outer thigh muscles working as well as your tummy as you do it this way. One, two, three, and relax and cuddle the knees. Now cross your ankles and we're going to twist from side to side again. Get ready, and one, two, three, and back, and one, two, Three and back. One, two, three and back. And one, two, three and back. 
and one, two, three, and back, and one, two, three, and back, one, two, three, and back, last one, one, two, three, and back, and relax, cuddle the knees. Now take your legs straight up, bring your toes back, and imagine you're balancing a ball on top of them. And push it up and push, 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 push. This is marvellous for the backs of the legs. Bring your legs down and sit up. Now we're going to do our last exercise in this section, which is for the lower body. So take your hand onto your head and take your top leg forward, keeping this lower leg straight. Support yourself in front. Raise it as high as you can. This is the intermediate section, so we can try that little bit harder for this one. Feel those muscles working. Now flex it. And point. Flex. Point. Flex. Now bring your knees in to relax them. Now leave the lower leg in, extend the top one, point downwards and up, or just slightly downwards, and just up and down. Feel that muscle working just outside here. Now bring both legs in to relax, in. Now leave the lower leg in, and we're going to swing the other leg with the foot flexed forward. Take it as far forward as you can and take it up and down. This is a wonderful exercise for this area here. So just up and down. Now relax and bring the foot behind you. And this stretches the front thigh muscle. And relax, come up, and change over sides. Prop yourself up and in front, top leg dropped forward, extend your leg, raise it up and down. Now flex and point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, point. One more time and bring your knees in and out and in. Keep the leg in, extend the top one, point the toe down slightly and just take it up and down. Feel that muscle here. Bring both legs in, relax. Leave the lower leg in, extend the top one, flex the foot, take it forward and raise it up and down. Feel it all the way up this side. That exercise is the front thigh, and relax, well done. And whilst we were still exercising there, it was a very suitable exercise for cooling down, because that's the end of this intermediate section. Now we're going to do our specific exercises for the upper body, and for this we're going to need our elastic bands. So take hold of it, and we're going to bring our elbows back. So get ready, and pull. Pull. Pull your tummy in. It's really quite strong, but it's particularly effective for the upper body. Now slip your hands inside the band, and we're going to pull it outward. So, out. Pull your tummy in again. It's very important to do that. Keep your arms as straight as you can. Feel the strength in all parts of your body, but particularly the upper body. Now 
Now take your elastic behind you, interlock your hands again, raise your arms behind you and try and take them as high and apart as possible. Pull, pull. Pull your tummy in it all the time. Now take hold of your elastic and take it over your shoulder and we're going to pull it down diagonally. So pull, pull. This is very good for the shoulders and for the arms. Change over, take it down the other side. Now bend the knees and take the elastic behind your head. Put your thumbs in, take it behind and pull. It's quite hard work. Do pull your tummy in. Now take the elastic in front. Just pull. And relax. Right, now we've finished using our band, but we're going to continue our upper body workout. So place your feet comfortably wide apart, bring your hands out to the side, make a fist of them, and we're going to bring our hands in, bending. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and Eight. And alternately, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And forward at just height. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And higher. Remember to pull your tummy in. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And alternate arm. Two, three. Take a step to the side, so continue to shake out. And we'll bring in our exercises again. So take your arms out to the side, make a fist. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And alternately, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And in front, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And higher. Two, pull your tummy in. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. And singles. Two, three, four. out to the side again and push the heels of your hands out and do little circles. Forward. And relax and just shake it out. And relax. And that's the end of our upper body exercises. Now our workout for the middle body and we're going to start off with the waistline. So feet comfortably wide apart, hands outstretched, and we're going to curve over sideways. Take it nice and gently. It's important that you don't twist. Just curve over nice and gently. 
Feel the stretch all the way down this side. It's absolutely fantastic for getting inches off the waistline. Just that little tiny movement, that's all it needs. And relax as you do so. Bend your knees, bring your hand forward. And we're going over to the other side. And push. Knees can be comparatively soft. They don't have to be too rigid. But feel that stretch and make sure you don't lean forward at all. It's so important you just curve sideways. Imagine yourself between two panes of glass. And relax forward. Come up, interlock your fingers. Bring your feet a little nearer together. Stretch your hands upwards. And we're going to the side for two. One, two, and centre. And two, and centre. One, two, and up. Feel the stretch. Up. And relax, bring your hands onto your hips. And we're just going to rotate our hips around. Keep the knees bent nicely. Round the other way. And relax. Now we're going to go onto the floor. So remember, cross your ankles. Slowly lower yourself down. Take your feet wide apart. And we're going to curve over to the side, taking one hand forward and the other one over and stretch. And slowly come forward and go over to the other side. Together, go forward and push. And up to the other side. And relax. Now come up, bring your feet together and swing them around because we're going to lie on our fronts. Now place your arms underneath your chin and place your chin on top of your hands. Now this exercise is for toning up the midriff, so it's very important that you really feel the stretch, but be careful that you don't strain. So slowly curl up, raise your chin, breathe in, feel your midriff stretching, it's a wonderful exercise for this, and slowly go down again. And we're going to do it again, and this time take your chin a little bit higher but don't strain. Breathe in. And down again. And relax, well done. Now, bend your right leg, flex the foot, and we're going to push it up towards the ceiling. So push, push, push. very good exercise for the buttocks, it really does tone them up. Now lower your knee first and then lower your leg, gently, nice and slowly, bend the other leg, flex the foot, get ready to push it up and push, push. Feel those muscles really working and slowly lower the knee first and then take the leg down. Now raise the other leg again, but we're going to point the toe this time. So push it up and push, push. Feel those muscles at the back of the thighs. And slowly take it down, lower it to the floor. Bend the other one up, point the toe and raise it.
arms relax, take the knee down, lower the foot. Now curl up, nice and gently, breathing in, chin up, and down. Come up onto all fours now. Back onto your heels. Up onto all fours. And just pull your tummy in. And in. Relax. In. Relax. In. Relax. And relax. Now bring your feet around the front. And slowly lie down. Down we go. Feet hip width apart. Hands at the back of your head, elbows out to the side. Pull your tummy in, curve your pelvis forward. Raise up for two and down for two. Get ready and one, two and back. Two and up. Two and back. Two and up. Two and back. Two and up. Two and back. Two, and back. two. one more time. Up. Two and down. Two. Now, take your left leg in front of your right knee. Are we going to come up in four movements? It's an up, across, back and down. So up, across, back and down. And up, across, back and down. A bit further this time. Up, across, back and down. And up, across. And down, we're going to change. Change legs. Get ready. And up, across, back and down. And up, across, back and down. And up, across, back and down. And last time, across and back and down. Now bring your knees up and just cuddle them. Now cross your ankles, hands at the back of your head again, we're coming up for the one, two and back. The one, two, so get ready and one, two and back, two and up, two and back, two and up, two, back, two, up, two, back, two, up, two. A bit further. Two. Back. Two. One more time. Up. Back. And down. Now cover your knees. Just bring those knees in. Just relax those tummy muscles. Now place your feet hip width on the floor. Hip width apart. Come up. Place your hands out straight and push. Push. This is a bit tough, but it's worth doing. Remember to curl your pelvis forward. Of our middle body workout. Now we're going to do our lower body exercises and for this we're going to need a chair and our elastic band again. Now place the band over your feet and stand a reasonable distance away from the chair, hand on the hip and we're going to extend our outer leg. So out, in. Feel the extension of the muscle here, it really works very hard. Now drop that foot down and change the accent onto the other leg. You can keep the standing leg a little soft if you wish. It's the outer muscle that's doing the work. And relax. Now take the other leg across. So push. Push. This time it's the inner thigh muscle that's working. legs and to the other side and push. Now relax. 
relax and face the back of your chair. Now place the band under your left foot and push it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And change over, place it over the other foot and push one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, place the band around your ankles again. And we're going to take the leg forward. And this does the front thigh muscle. So get ready and push. Now we're going to continue our lower body workout. We need to get onto the floor. So lower yourself down carefully. Place your band around your ankles. Take your feet apart and have your hands forward, your shoulders forward. It's important your weight is forward. It can be either on the floor or on your legs. It doesn't matter. Now, in, out, in, out. Feel the muscles working. Having the rubber band really does make the resistance much greater. It's much more effective on the body. When you get more practiced at this and a bit fitter, you can do it faster if you wish to. Now relax and we're going over onto our side. Prop your head up onto your hand. Have your legs nice and straight so your body is in a line. We're going to raise the leg up. Feel the outer thigh muscle really working hard. Now, point and flex. Point and flex. Point. And again. And relax and roll over to the other side. Now pop your head up again, hand in front, leg in, legs in a nice straight line, and raise. Now point and flex, point, flex, flex. Remove your bands, we've finished using them now. And we're going to bottom walk. So fold your arms and off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Forward, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back, two, three, four. And relax now. Take your feet wide apart. We're going to do an exercise now which is particularly good for the backs of the legs. We're going to stretch right up, turn towards your right leg, your toes pointing straight upwards, and extend yourself across. Now, you can either take hold of some part of your leg that you can reach easily, or you can go a little bit further, but you must not strain yourself. Only go as far as you feel you can but feel the extension at the back of the leg, which is so good for the hamstring. 
now come up, stretch, turn to the other side and go down. You can take your head down as far as it'll go. Do try and keep this knee as flat as possible. It's not so beneficial if it is bent. Now slowly come up. And we're going forward. This is for the inner thighs. You'll be able to feel it here. It's really strong, but don't strain yourself. It's so important. And relax and bring your feet into the middle. Keep your feet together. Stretch up. Go back as far as you can and then go forward. Take hold of your ankles, elbows go out and pull down. Just little movements. Again, try and keep your knees as flat as you possibly can. And relax. Now place one leg against your thigh, come up, stretch up and over. Pull down just these little movements. And relax, come up and change over. Place the other one against you. Come up, stretch, and come over. Don't worry too much if this knee is up in the air when you first start. As you get fitter, it'll get a little bit lower. Don't worry about it, it'll go down automatically. And relax, sit up, and bring your feet together. Now, place your feet together. Sit up nice and straight. Place your hands around the toes. Pull in and just push down. Push down. Now just rock from side to side. This is good for loosening up the thighs. Now, keeping this position for this leg, take the other leg behind you. Keep your knee as level with your hips as you can. Push the hip forward. Keep hold of this front leg with this hand. Lean over. Raise your knee off the floor, keeping your leg at right angles. And we're just going to move it forward and back ever so slightly. Just this tiny movement. It's very good for toning up this part of the body. And after you've been doing it for a while, do place your hand on here and feel the muscles actually working. It's most encouraging to actually see the benefits. If you find it too difficult to actually hold in this position, you can put this hand onto the floor, but it isn't quite as effective as when it's up here. And relax, bring the feet together and just rock. This just relaxes the leg you've been using. Now take the other leg out to the other side, push it back, hip forward, lean over, raise up off the floor and just forward and back. Again, feel this muscle working. And relax and bring your feet in together. Just rock. Now relax and take your legs around behind you and lie onto your tummy. Have your hands in front and take your legs as wide apart as you can. Bring the legs back and place the soles of your feet together. And squeeze. This is for the inner thighs. It's particularly effective for this. Just squeeze, squeeze. Just think about it. Now, 
Now separate the legs and interlock the ankles and try and separate them. This uses different muscles. Feel the outer thighs working now. At the same time as actually working these muscles, we are cooling down and just winding down gently. Now change the ankles over the other way. Try and separate them. It's a very good exercise for turning up the buttocks. And relax and slowly take the legs down. And if you wish, you can just lie here and place your head on your hands. Right. Well, that's the end of our exercise workout. Now, it's important for you to try and exercise two or three times a week if you want to really increase your fitness level. But the idea of these exercises is that you try and formulate your own program to suit your individual needs. And the more you do it, the better you're going to feel and the better you're going to look.